Hey, what's going on, people? It's SGZ here from the Spartan Game Zone. In this video, we're going to run through the Call of Duty multiplayer reveal trailer for Ghosts and see if we can find any weapons that are found in the game's multiplayer. And here we have the MTAR X, so that must be a variant of the MTAR found in MW2 and Black Ops 2. Now, hopefully, they take the more MW2 side of that weapon because that was pretty kick ass in that game. And here we go, he's pulling out the 44 Magnum, a six cylinder revolver with an amazingly high damage as found when he shoots the crap out of that guy's face. And here we go, he's cooking the flashbang or concussion, who knows, I don't know. But uh, yeah, here we go, the SC2010 or the SC2010. Now, from my personal experience at looking at this gun's picture, I think it's going to be a pretty high damage, similar to the Scar A. So here we go, the either Microtar, M-O-R-O-T-A-R, -O or M-C-R-O-T-A-R. I can't really see that very well, but uh, either way, it's going to be a assault rifle found in the game. And here we got the Chris, spelled with all capitals, and this gun was found in Black Ops. That's the last submachine gun that was unlocked. Now this gun in Black Ops had a very small mag, uh, 20 mag, so hopefully they've uh, buffed up his mag, because that's really what threw people off using it in Black Ops. So here we got the MTS-255 with foregrip. Now, as you can see by the circle there in the middle, next to Solar Soda, oh yeah, uh, it's a shotgun as he just, like, blows the poo out of that guy's chest. Even though, like, poo's not located there, I don't think. Maybe it is. You know, I'm scared. Oh, okay. So, um, here we got the SVU custom attachment. So... For you guys familiar in uh, Black Ops 2, this was the gun that you were getting sprayed with and like didn't like very much because it was spraying you and they were killing you and they had no skill at all. But uh, yeah, that's returning Call of Duty Ghosts and hopefully it's not as retarded. So here we got the Honey Badger and that is uh, probably the first unlocked assault rifle that you will find in Call of Duty Ghosts. And uh, this is a Silence P66 I'm pretty sure that he's running around with. Either that or another pistol. Okay, here we got the Honey Badger with the assault rifle attachments, including extended mags, single shot, three round burst, FMJ, foregrip, grenade launcher, bayonet or tripod thingy, uh, ACOG, Ecotech, and red dot sight. Boom. And also here we got nine bag grenade, which is a flashbang, and the double action five round revolving cylinder shotgun. The running gun style, and that was seen before when he blew the poo out of that guy. Quote. Okay, so here we got some assault rifles. Rifles. Rolfles. Yeah, okay. So CZ805 brand, the SC2010, the MSBS, the IRX160, the FAD, the A5RCR or P, AK12, and Honey Badger with the SA805. And uh, also we have that shotgun again, a uh, grenade launcher similar to the war machine. And looking at the top there, that's looking like a shotgun as well. And here, you know that uh, screen with the assault rifles? I doubt that's all the assault rifles because here we have an MA-28. That's sort of like the variant of MA-41, I would say. Like uh, that, that was found like early on in uh, MW3 and MW2 and stuff. So here it's got the Vector, like the best gun ever in uh, Black Ops 2, and it's using ACOG sight, which is kind of stupid, but uh, yeah, anyway, whoever got it and was using it died, so yeah, okay, so they're bringing in Maskman rifles, which are best at mid to long range, and they kind of sit between assault rifles and sniper rifles. So um, here we got some guns, top left looks like the FAD, bottom right looks like the FAMIS, and the other two in the center thing look like the FNFL or some automatic gun and uh yeah we got a fully automatic highest rate of fire in, in class with reduced recoil at bottom right and looks like the m2 m28 thingy uh at the top left there and on the right here it looks like a barrett 50 cal or some very high powered uh, sniper rifle and on the left looks like an early on sniper rifle probably not as high damage as the other one on the left we got a uh 
That could be the SVU if it's the highest rate of fire in this class. And the one on the right, highest damage per round, looks like a probably a bolt action gun there. And here we go. Hooray for improved stabbing and retarded running with the knife. Oh yeah. Okay, he just takes him out in the head. And this looks like one of the Marksman rifles there, I'd have to say. And uh, that guy just got squashed. And guess what? A girl killed him. Pretty confusing, I don't know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you guys next time.